Hey, Fred Minnick here, and this is a list of five shockers of the Ascot Awards from 2022. You can see them all right here on the channel as they were being tasted, but we're gonna find out what five I think were huge shockers in the whiskey categories. As you know, we completed that, that tasting right here on this YouTube channel. We had some brilliant tasters uh, pick the best in show, which went to Journeyman Wheat Whiskey. Best in show whiskey, Journeyman Wheat Whiskey. Huge shocker, first time that a small distiller had beaten some of the biggest uh, whiskey brands in the world. And anyone who's ever had that wheat whiskey, uh, which is a journeyman uh, corset whips and whiskey, you people know are like, yep, I've had that. That's good. I, it doesn't shock me. It's very different. It's very. Uh, it's got like a chocolatey, velvet, velvety kind of flavor profile that just shocks the palate and just was absolutely uh, amazing in so many ways. And so that was absolutely a shocker. You know, you can watch that as it was unfolding and how it won. Uh, I got a link to it in uh, the description. But those are not, you know, it, while that was a shocker, to me, you know, that just brought that distillery up to another level. I've known they've been doing great work. Uh, but now that, that product is going to be unobtainable. Like it's like they're, I think they said they only had like, uh, like 900 cases when that, uh, you know, shortly after it was announced. So, and I'm sure that those have been weeded through, which good news for a small distillery. Well, well earned. But there are, there were five... Uh, American whiskeys, uh, largely bourbon, that were within like a taster's chance of winning best in class. And one of them won best bourbon, and you can find it in a lot of your stores. They're not going to be hard to, uh, you might have to dig around a little bit, but these are, these five products I'm going to talk about today, they all got a double platinum. Uh, which is the highest award that you can get individually before you go on to to taste uh, to be tasted for best in class, which would be like uh, um, best in category, which would be which would be like straight bourbon or best in class, which would be bourbon. So these were all products that were within a were within that tasting range of of winning uh, something very significant beyond the, the double platinum. And in addition to that, they're all $60 or under, and you can find them. So I'm going to start with Blue Note Uncut. Blue Note Uncut is only $45, bucks, so it's $45. Bucks. It is three years old, but it tastes above three years old. Here are some tasting notes that came from uh, one of our tasters. The beautifully balanced palate is stepped in white, steeped in white pepper, caramel, and tobacco wrapped in a velvety mouthfeel and a nice finish. So that's Blue Note, uncut, only 45 bucks, and that is available. The next one, this actually won uh, Best Bourbon. So it won Best Straight Bourbon, and then it went on to win Best Bourbon. And it actually finished number two in the tasting overall. Now, I've had this bourbon many times, and I've always liked it. But never did I think it would win Best Bourbon in a competition that had uh, the kind of bourbons that were in it. And that was Bullet uh, Barrel Strength. Bullet Barrel Strength wins Best Bourbon at the Ascots. And you can find it for uh, $60 in most stores. It is available. It is like becoming a little bit more difficult to find because of glass. This comes in a 375. That glass is not as prevalent um, as the, the larger one. So I don't know where Bullet's going to be with their, with their barrel strength product uh, in, the coming, in the coming weeks or year. But I do know that you can find it. I bought it in Wisconsin uh, last time I was there. Uh, I also bought it in uh, Illinois. I saw it on the shelf in California when I was traveling. So it is out there, but you may have to go to more than one store. So here's some tasting notes from one of our tasters. It says, best nose ever. This yummy whiskey shows an incredible ability to come across as delicate despite the high ABV. Well done. 
You gotta remember too, when you're doing tasting notes in these competitions, you're going bam, 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 bam. Those, uh, those tastings go really fast. And so if you sit down and process and do notes, that means it really resonated with you. So anyone who's ever done a professional tasting uh, will know how that goes. Uh, next up, uh, a double platinum winner in the barrel finish category. That's Davies County French Oak Finish. Now this is a four year old. It's coming in at uh, 96 proof and it's only 45 bucks. It's 45 bucks. A lot of these finished products tend to be uh, up in price a little bit more, but Davies County is has been impressing a lot of people with their finishes and their affordability. Uh, I was really, really shocked to see this one do so well, simply because I saw its competition. And its competition were some of my like, everyday pours in like the barrel finish category. So I was shocked to see that it took out some of the biggest names in barrel finishes. Here are the tasting notes that come through from one of our judges. There's plenty going on here and the palate is quite a ride. Vanilla bean, cake batter, pepper, clove, and baking spice pervades. Lovely. Uh, so that's, that's quite, quite the call out for a, for a product with French oak. And usually, usually you get a lot of the pepper from a French oak with a note that I love that was called out here was the clove because I definitely appreciate clove when I get it in a barrel finish. So the next one up is also in the, uh, typically in the barrel finish category, but this one is not a barrel finish. This is Doc Swenson's Blender's Cut Bourbon. Now this is uh, this was a small batch, entered in a small batch. It is five years old and an 115 proof. It's coming in at $60. Now when I go back and I see my notes uh, and I reviewed when I reviewed what I was thinking of this one at the time, this was probably my favorite going in for, for best bourbon. And, you know, sometimes in competitions, it doesn't always work out that way. What you think is going to win doesn't win. You fall in love with something, then you fall in love with something else. But when I first tasted this one, when, when I later learned what it was, I, I thought hands down it was going to be best, at, best bourbon. And so the Doc Swenson's Blender's Cut Bourbon, to me, is a really great example of, of a fine bourbon. This one's on the rise. It's sixty dollars right now. It's five years old, and I think um, I think that this is one to definitely get. It is available. You might have to buy it through one of the online stores to get this one. But Doc Swenson's Blenders Cut Bourbon is definitely one to grab for sure. Last but not least, probably the biggest shocker for me in the whiskey category actually comes from a beer company. Five Trail Blended American Whiskey comes from the Coors Whiskey Company. So basically, Miller Coors, the Coors family. Uh, when I saw that this was one of the contenders for for best uh, blend of straight whiskeys, I was like, what? I couldn't believe it. I could not believe it. Uh, I had not actually knowingly tasted this, uh, but when I went back and looked at my notes, I was very favorable of this in a big, big way. Uh, so this is available. You know, they're making a pretty decent push out there nationally, but they're still not in every store like Coors Light is. It's $60. And here are some notes. Floral and fruity nose yields aromas of golden raisin and cereal. Caramel and fruit rules the nicely balanced palate capped by a warm, clean finish. And that is, to me, a pretty good summary of, of, a, of a whiskey that you can find that's affordable in that $60 price point. And um, so this was five shockers to me in the American whiskey category of the Ascots. Thanks for tuning in for this list. If you wanna learn more about the Ascots, I've got the full video in uh, the description of us tasting the finals. I also have a link out to uh, the website, the Ascot Awards, where you can see the other uh, folks that won. Uh, but I appreciate you tuning in. Be safe out there. And remember, remember, 
be kind to one another. And although this can be used as a weapon, it's really heavy. Uh, those who win the ASCOTS awards, please do not use these in criminal activity. Cheers.